with these niggas. And, and I, I'm cool on that type of shit because I don't even make money off Instagram. Let's start there. Like, I got rich off sponsorships. I've never, Instagram has never paid me a dime. I've never made a dollar off Instagram ever in my life. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing six, seven hundred thousand views on videos, voiceover work, and Instagram keep taking my shit down. That shit getting corny, bro. I'm not finna keep doing that shit because it's like, I'm doing this shit for my fans. I don't make no money off this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. YouTube will take that shit down too. It's the same shit. It, it's the same shit. It, Instagram, all this copyright shit, that shit get goofy. I'm only doing my shit high, David shit. No more voiceover work. You know what I mean? Even though I know I'm the king of voiceover. Can't nobody fuck with me when it comes to voiceover work. I ain't even here to, they ain't even up for debate. But what I'm saying is, every time I put some shit up, it keep getting took down on some copyright shit. I just did the, the uh, voiceover for the bear and the lady. That bitch did 600,000 likes. And Instagram come taking my shit down on some copyright shit. So it's cool. Like, I'm not making no money up. So what the fuck y'all taking it down for? It ain't like y'all paying a nigga for the shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never, Instagram ain't never paid a nigga no money. Fuck is y'all talking about? We start boycotting this bitch. Tell, start telling y'all motherfuckers we want to get paid for this shit. Then it'll be a problem. You know what I'm saying? But no, niggas be on this bitch doing this shit on Instagram for free. You know what I mean? Every day, I got 7.2 million followers that tune in to see what Dave was doing every day. And motherfuckers keep taking my shit down with some copyright shit. That shit goofy and I'm tired of it. So I'm really just doing Hyde Davis shit. I might, and y'all might be able to see it on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter at Hyde Davis. They don't be tripping too much on Twitter shit. You can go on Twitter right now and watch a whole porno episode. The shit will be up there. So, you know what I mean? Me, personally, I'm only sticking to the Hyde Davis shit. I wanted to tell y'all, like, no more of that voiceover shit is over with. And I wanted to show y'all my building right quick. Cause my building coming along. But outside of me being me and doing what I do, it ain't no more of them voiceovers. And then June 11, my first box office movie out. Meet the Blacks 2. Y'all go check it out. Here go my building, man. This bitch coming along. I want to try to see this motherfucker. Talk about dirty camera. Yeah. Walls is painted. Baseboards is up. Legendary wall. I got a legendary wall right here. I got all of the greatest comedians to ever do this shit. Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, Kevin Hart. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all some more. I got to uh, want y'all to see my green room and shit. This is my green room. Just brought a building, man. Doing something positive, man. And I, I want to thank all my fans. I wouldn't even been able to bought this bit if it wasn't for y'all. So shout out to the fans, bro. Y'all y'all put a nigga in position to be able to win. You know what I mean? This NSD Studios, No Self-Doubt Studios. Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. Rest in peace to GOAT. Bernie Mac, Martin Lawrence. They don't got up here like I'm missing a lot of my my favorites. Cat Williams, Mike Epps. You know what I mean? I'm missing a few of them. I know Jamie Foxx look like me a little bit though, but that ain't me. You know what I'm saying? I got me going right here on this wall. My back room and shit. You know what I mean? My building is coming together. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even no floor, none of this shit in here. Like before I started, like two weeks ago, it was I'm talking this bitch look like a trap house. Bathroom done. New, new bathroom, put a whole new bathroom in here. Shit go crazy. This is going to be the podcast room, fellas podcast and shit. You know what I'm saying? The podcast room coming together. Like it's going down, you know what I mean? We're really in here going crazy. I want y'all to see it, I want because I want y'all to be a part of what we, this ain't just me, this us. You know what I mean? We did this together. You know what I mean? We all won. Yeah, something dope, man. You know what I mean? I wanted y'all to see that, but... Yeah, like I said, though, man. Shit kind of depressing and shit, though, because niggas work hard on their on they content and shit like that. And, you know what I mean? You'll do a voiceover on somebody's shit. Like, it ain't like a motherfucker making money off of it. It ain't music to where I'm taking a nigga beat, putting it up on Apple Music, and, and, and running off with a nigga beat or something like that. It, I'm, I'm purely taking a nigga, taking a video, voiceovering it, and putting it up on Instagram where you don't make no money off Instagram. It ain't no way to make no money off Instagram. Instagram don't pay you in no type of way. Twitter don't pay you no type of way. Facebook maybe, and I, don't, I ain't never made a dollar off Facebook ever. I don't even, I don't even go on there and try to monetize none of that shit because this shit is purely for my fans. Like I made all my money off bigger shit. You know what I mean? Being Ha Ha Davis outside of like being funny. You know what I mean? Big companies calling and want to help me do shit. You know what I mean? So like I said, man, I love y'all, but my voiceover days are over. And y'all can check, I man. Go follow me on Twitter at Ha Ha Davis. Y'all want to see any voiceover work? It will only be on Twitter. That's it. No more Instagram. They want to take a nigga. Shit down, copyright shit, fuck it, it's whatever. But like I said, I love y'all. My building up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. June 11th, meet the blacks too, man. I did it, man. From the from the internet to the big screen. We here, man. 
Y'all see, y'all see a little hole in my shirt, bro. This bitch a vintage, so don't even, don't even worry about it. It came like that. I brought it like that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I love y'all though. Peace out. Talk to y'all later.